Let's see how to use inverse kinematics in the Wicked Engine Editor. Open our previously saved or exported a.vrm character. If you want to know how to export VRM character from Vroid Studio, check out one of the previous videos on character creation and character controller script. This was the character that was exported in that video. Let's add a new transform, which will be used as the inverse kinematics target transform. And let's see that, let's say that I want to control the right hand with this transform so that the right hand tries to always reach the this target. I will rename this transform to target hand just to make it easier to select later. And you can select the skeleton to see all the bones, but with this uh, VRM rig, you want the hand bone, which is not this, but that little, but that very small bone in the, at the end of this arm bone. And to select that, it is the easiest if you can't can't really select it because it co the the selection collides with other bones. The other way to select it is to select the humanoid rig on the on the whole character. Go down to the arms and select the right hand. And as you can see, this selects that little bone there. Now, I can add the new inverse kinematics component to this bone. I set the target to our newly created transform. It might be hard to find here. Currently, this is, there is no better way to find this, but uh, with the newly created hand, target hand transform will be placed into the end of the list. So just select that and increase chain length to about two. You will immediately see that the hand starts and the whole arm starts uh, moving towards that uh, target hand transform immediately. Then after this, if you grab the target hand transform, then you will see that the hand of the character follows this transform and tries to reach it. You can see some weird behavior because the rotations for these hand bones are not limited, are not constrained yet. This might change in the future with automatic constraints like the leg has, for example. Let's check out the leg inverse kinematics, which has some extra added built in functionality like limiting the rotation of the knees and the so that it doesn't rotate weirdly. I will add the new transform and call it the foot, the target foot. I select the foot bone, for example, the right foot bone. Add the new in inverse kinematics to it. You can also select the foot bone from the humanoid component as you did with the arms. But in this case, it is pretty easy to select by just picking with the mouse. For its target, I will pick the target foot transform and set the chain length, chain length as two. The chain length, by the way, means how many bones down the hierarchy the inverse kinematics will affect. In the case of the legs, two will be sufficient. Now grab the target foot and move it about. You will see that the knees of the character will not bend backwards. Instead, they will stay straight. There is some weird movement in the legs, like jumping movement. That is caused by the imprecision of rot limiting rotations can be slightly improved by selecting that inverse kinematics on the foot again. By the way, also, if you can see that the bone is now visualized as 
in green color, which means that it has an inverse kinematics applied onto it. You can increase or decrease the iteration count. If you set it to zero, then that essentially means that the inverse kinematics is disabled. If you increase it, then it will increase the precision of the inverse kinematics simulation. Now, if you grab the target foot transform, then the foot movement is a bit more precise now. And the whole leg movement is a bit more precise. And as you can see, you can not really move the leg into very unnatural positions. If the target is too far away, also, or, or completely behind the character, the leg and the knees will remain limited. The inverse kinematics can also be controlled from the code or scripts, and you can investigate that in the character controller script actually places foot inverse kinematics automatically for every character when it is in a standing position so that they align with the, um, the, with the ground under the character correctly. So that the characters that you import into the character controller script, you don't need to actually set up any inverse kinematics for them by default. To check that, just open the character controller script and just move into onto some uneven ground like this, like this model. And if you orient the character so that one feet stands above the other one, then it will be placed accordingly to the ground.